Hi, I'm Susan Kennedy of Pretty Peaceful, and today I want to show you a, a blanket idea to use with either Red Heart Granny Square yarn, Granny Square all-in-one yarn. My skein's kind of floppy here because I used most of it for the blanket, or a Lion Brand Mandala yarn. Here I have the colorway Troll. So the blanket pattern is called the Wind River Blanket. Here's what it looks like in the Red Heart Granny Square all-in-one yarn. This is the uh, colorway Soft White Citrus Twist. And I'm using that as the contrast color. And the main color is just regular Red Heart Super Saver <laughs> in the black colorway. So I used most of one skein of the Red Heart uh, Granny Square all-in-one. I used about 295 yards or 270 meters of it. So if you have a partial skein left, this is a good project for that. And for the contrast color, the Red Heart Super Saver, I used about 535 yards or 490 meters. So if you're using the regular skein of Red Heart Super Saver, you'll need two. And if you use the jumbo one, uh, you'll need one and you'll have some left over, or you can use a partial skein. So the Wind River uh, blanket here, the, this version is about 32 inches by 40 inches, so a small um, blanket size. And with this pattern, it is really easy to make a bigger one. The stitch repeat is 39 stitches across. So this is two repeats wide. And if you want to make a wider blanket, just add 39 more stitches to your starting chain. Um, and if you want to make a longer blanket, you can repeat the center rows um, repeat rows 23 to 56 as many times as you want. So I brought a few more versions <laughs> to show you, which is why um, I'm out on my deck here today and not out in the woods like I normally love to be, but I have a lot of heavy samples and I don't know if you can see this beautiful snowstorm, but it's really coming down out there. So the Wind River Blanket Pattern, you can find it in a few places. One place is my book, Crochet Southwest Spirit over 20 bohemian patterns inspired by the American Southwest. If you've already purchased this book, thank you for your support. Uh, I am very happy to say it's been well received by the crochet community, thank you so much. Uh, you can find it on Amazon um, and it's got over 100 reviews, 110 reviews I think as of today uh, with a 4.6 star average, so close to five stars. Um, and if you look at that th one three star review, someone was sa sad that it didn't have a spiral binding and said that they would have given it five stars if it had a spiral binding, which I agree, you know, it's hard to read a pattern if the book doesn't lay flat, but after you use it a little bit, um, you know, just kind of press it flat, it'll stay flat, but you may have to weight it open. <laughs> That's just how all the knit and crochet books are these days. So the Wind River blanket pattern is here in the kind of color work section of the book. Let me see if I can find it. And I have made so many versions of this pattern over the years. And I have to also tell you, I just flipped past the tutorial for it. The back of the book has a photo tutorial on how to work this blanket. And the blanket itself is a weighted version in the book. The Wind River weighted blanket. So I have some behind me here. There's also a rug version if you want to use a smaller hook. Um, and there's a chart you can follow in here in all the color directions. You can, um, let's look at that big weighted blanket here. It really is a heavy one, uh, but I love this blanket. So this is the, the Wind River weighted blanket from the book. It's really big. And you can see in this blanket pattern, um, we're using one main color and four different contrast colors. It's a little snowy here. <laughs> and here's the rug version with a uh, bulky yarn and a smaller hook. And I really love this rug. It has held up so well. This is actually several years old and we've been using it in our house. Uh, this is with hooked ribbon XL yarn. For this one, I used hooked spaghetti yarn, super bulky. That's kind of the t-shirt yarn. Um, and then I have a couple versions where I'm only using two different yarns here, just like the Red Heart Granny Square one I showed you. These two, I use Lily Sugar and Cream to make kitchen towels. And this is Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn. These would make really good changing mats. Um, 
So for the two color version, if you don't want to use all those different small balls of yarn and you want to carry the yarn across each row, you use main color yarn for the main color as well as contrast color two and contrast color four. Use the same main color yarn for, the, for all of those in the pattern. And then you use one contrast color for both contrast color one and contrast color three. So here's the version with indigo as the main color and contrast color two and contrast color four. And then the ecru is the contrast color one and contrast color three. Then I made a uh, mandala version here with Lion Brand Mandala on the troll colorway. It's a little wrinkly <laughs> from being in storage. Uh, so this is just a really small little baby blanket. And I use troll for both the main color and contrast color. I just use kind of the pinks and purples um, as my main color and the blues and greens as the contrast color in troll. And then the one I just finished last night, this is Red Heart Super Saber in Soft White Citrus Twist with black. And I used an eight millimeter hook for this, my Susan Bates hook. <laughs> so I've made three blankets with this Red Heart Granny Square all in one yarn so far. And this is the hook size that I'm liking the best with it, um, is an eight millimeter hook. Even though the yarn recommends a five and a half millimeter hook, um, you know, it's just gives it a little drape. The holes aren't too big here. You know, it kind of looks like that with the snow in the background, but <laughs> It's, um, it's nice straight for a blanket, I think. So like I said, you can find the Wind River um, blanket pattern in my book, Crochet Southwest Spirit. You can uh, find a link to that um, on my website, prettypeaceful.com, or you can just type in Crochet Southwest Spirit into Google and it'll come up. It's also sold at bookshop.org, um, which supports local and independent bookstores. And when you buy a book on bookshop.org, you can type in the local bookshop you'd like to support. Um, and then they get a portion of the, the proceeds of that sale. Um, and then the other place uh, you can hopefully find this is at your local library. And if your library doesn't carry it yet, you can request it. Um, and you may be able to get it through an interlibrary loan. Um, so thank you to everybody that's been checking out this book at the libraries. Um, you can also find the Wind River rug pattern, um, which is the same pattern as the blanket. Um, you can find this on Ravelry just as a standalone pattern. Um, it's in color, but I just printed it out in black and white here. And the only difference between making it a rug or making it a blanket is your yarn choice and your hook choice. So for a rug, I would use bulky or super bulky yarn. And for a blanket, I would use worsted or DK weight yarn um, and kind of the appropriate hook size for that yarn. Um, the last place you can find this pattern, um, written pattern is on ilikecrochet.com which is um, I Like Crochet Magazine's website, and they've supported me throughout my whole crochet career. Thank you, I Like Crochet Magazine. And you can find this um, pattern, I think it was 2018, but if you type in Susan Kennedy, my name, on ilikecrochet.com, then you can see all the patterns that I've made for that magazine. Um, and then finally, I, uh, I'm gonna show a little tutorial specifically for how to do this version here. Um, I recorded the first hour of crocheting um, and so you can follow along with the video here that's coming up um, and after the first hour I did give each each of the stitch counts for the rows so you can finish it on your own it's just uh, after an hour I'm like <laughs> kind of tired of making a video I need a break so uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your blanket okay now I'll show you how to get started to crochet this blanket so for this pattern, I am using uh, one skein of Red Heart Super Saver. This is a jumbo skein in the black colorway. This will be my main color yarn. And I'm using one skein of Red Heart Granny Square all-in-one yarn in the soft white citrus twist colorway as my contrast color. I'm using an eight millimeter hook for this, which is USL11. This is a Susan Bates hook. I love the, uh, this hook with this yarn. And the pattern um, can be worked in as many repeats wide as you want. For this sample here, um, I'm making a small blanket that is 78 stitches wide. If you'd like to make a wider blanket, you can add any multiple of 39 stitches to this pattern. So I have 39 plus 39, that's 78 stitches. If you wanna make a wider, larger blanket, you can add a third repeat 
and that would be 117 stitches per row. So the pattern uh, here is 78 stitches wide, and the way we start row one is to chain 79, then single crochet in the second chain from the hook and all chains across. So your row one will have 78 single crochet stitches in US terms. Um, then in row two, you'll chain one. That chain one does not count as a stitch. Single crochet in each uh, stitch across. So you have another row of 78 single crochet stitches. And you repeat row two until you have 13 rows of main color, all single crochet. Row 14 is one row of single crochet in the contrast color. Rows 15 and 16 are all single crochet in the main color. Row 17, single crochet in the contrast color. Rows 18 and 19, all main color, single crochet. Row 20, one row of single crochet in the contrast color. And then rows 21 and 22, single crochet in the main color. So 13 rows main color, one contrast color, two main color, one contrast color, two main color, one contrast color, two main color. And now we're ready to start row 23. So for these rows, I cut the yarn whenever I needed to change the color, <clears throat> and I just crocheted over the ends. Uh, but for the rest of this color work section here, we're not gonna cut the yarn. We're gonna trade back and forth between the main color and contrast color without cutting the yarn so we don't have to weave in a million little ends. So row 23, the repeat is five stitches contrast color, 29 stitches main color, five stitches contrast color. And we're gonna do that twice. So the first stitches are gonna be with the contrast color yarn and we have to add that. So I like to leave a six inch tail and just slip stitch over with that new color. Then I pull down on the, the old color and pull that to the back. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more here even. And just for the first five stitches in the contrast color here, we're gonna carry both of these yarns. And what that means when you carry yarn is that we're gonna hold both the main color and contrast color over the top of our previous row and just pretend like they're not there. <laughs> so we're gonna start with a chain one <clears throat> and we need five single crochet stitches in the contrast color here. After I've done my first few stitches, I like to give a, just a gentle tug on each tail while holding this edge straight. And I find that helps to keep my edges straight with no kind of weird loops or bumps over here. Um, just a gentle tug. If you pull too hard, it'll kind of pull the whole row inward. So that's why I like to keep my thumb over here and keep everything kind of lined up. So we have one, two, three, four stitches in the contrast color. I'm gonna start to do that fifth single crochet and I'm gonna drop the white yarn and finish the last contrast color stitch with the main color yarn. So now we're ready to crochet with the main color yarn. So we're gonna drop the yarn tail that started the row and we're gonna bring this white yarn along with us as we crochet the 29 stitches in main color yarn. So we're just gonna work around it as if it isn't there. 29 stitches. And these two, can, <laughs> these two skeins can get kind of wound around each other. One uh, thing I like to do <clears throat> when I'm working with two yarns back and forth is I put one of them on the couch next to me and I put one on the floor. And um, I, when I drop the yarn, I always drop the yarn back towards its skein. So I'll show you what I mean by that when I finish these main color stitches. So five contrast color single crochet and 29 main color single crochet. So the trick when you're carrying yarn like this is you don't wanna pull it too, too tight <clears throat> because that'll pull these stitches this direction. And you don't wanna leave it too, too loose because then you'll have loops of that contrast color showing through. So it takes a little bit of practice to get the tension right of crocheting around this 
um, contrast color yarn. One thing I noticed that I do is I pull the contrast color yarn a bit to the front and crochet around it, and that helps me kind of keep an eye on it. If you have it toward the back, then sometimes you won't be able to see if you accidentally have a little loop of it sticking out. So let's see how many stitches I have here so far. Two, four, six, that's 17. Okay, here's my 29th main color stitch. And here's what I mean about dropping the yarn. Right now I have my, my black ball of yarn next to me on the couch and I have the contrast color one here on the table. So when I'm dropping this main color yarn, I'm gonna drop it back towards the ball. And I'm gonna pick the contrast color up and finish the last main color stitch by yarning over with the contrast color. And now I'm ready to crochet with the contrast color. And the reason you, I drop this back toward the front instead of dropping it back is over time with all these color changes, your yarn will wrap, the two yarns will wrap around each other and create a tangle. So that's one way you can prevent any tangling of the yarns um, when you are crocheting with two yarns like this back and forth. So now we're gonna work another five uh, single crochet stitches in our contrast color. And now the pattern repeats again. Five contrast color, 29 main color, five contrast color. So right in the middle here, we're gonna have 10 contrast color stitches in a row because of the pattern repeats. And those two five uh, groups of five single crochet stitches in the contrast color join right up against each other. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so to finish the 10th stitch, we're gonna yarn over, I'm gonna drop the contrast color to the back, Pick up our main color and continue to carry that contrast color as I work these 29 stitches in the main color yarn. So if you're following the uh, Wind River Blanket pattern from my book, Crochet Southwest Spirit, first of all, thank you <laughs> for your support and uh, buying the book or, or checking it out from your library. If you're following that pattern, you will use the main color, black, solid color, as both main color, contrast color two, and contrast color four. And you'll use the brightly colored variegated or gradient yarn as both contrast color one and contrast color three. I'm just using this as one contrast color. So that makes it a little simpler. Uh, you don't. You only have to manage two yarn balls instead of five different colors in a row, which, <clears throat> you know, sometimes it's worth it. But sometimes you don't want the hassle of uh, dealing with all those balls of yarn. Tangles are kind of inevitable <laughs> when you have that many colors going. I do have some tricks about that, though. And in, um, in the techniques chapter of my book, uh, Crochet Southwest Spirit, you can um, find some tips for how to prevent the yarns from tangling that have worked for me for over the years, as I love to do kind of tapestry color work. Okay, we're coming to our last five stitches here. Here's our last stitch in the main color yarn. I'm gonna drop this yarn to the front of the work here. Yarn over to complete that 29th main color stitch. And I'm not gonna carry the yarn here because I'm working five single crochets in the contrast color yarn. And then our next row, row 24, is also gonna start with contrast color yarn. So if I don't have to carry the yarn over to complete that section, I don't. So I'm gonna leave that black yarn right where it is and finish row 23 with five stitches in the contrast color. Now we're gonna turn our work and start on row 24. So 
row 24 starts with four contrast color stitches. Um, and then we have 31 main color stitches and then four contrast color stitches. And that's our repeat, four, 31, and four. So row 24 will start with a chain one. That doesn't count as a stitch. And we'll work four stitches, one, two, three, four. And now we have to pick up our main color yarn from where we left it there. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through to finish that fourth contrast color stitch. We're gonna drop that white yarn to the back and keep carrying it along here. And now we have this stitch where we had to pull the black yarn over so we could use it. And we're also carrying the white yarn. So we have to make sure that we're catching both of those strands as we work that first crochet stitch in the main color yarn. And now we will work 31 main color stitches total. So bring the white yarn along. That's two stitches, three stitches, four stitches, and you hold that carried yarn a bit to the front here. And yes, you can see a little bit of it popping through from the previous row, and that is totally okay. Um, I think when you're looking at it up close, you know, it can be easy to scrutinize, like, well, a lot's showing through, but as soon as you take a step back, uh, that kind of disappears. If you are seeing a lot of show through here, one thing you can do is go down a hook size, um, and then that tends to show through a little less, but, um, you know, my general strategy is just don't worry about it. <laughs> so I'll give that a try. I really love a woven look anyway. I love weaving and I'm a student of weaving and, you know, in weaving we have the warp and the weft and sometimes they both show and sometimes only the, the warp shows and I think it's kind of cool. Looks looks kind of woven. Makes it look a little bit more intricate when you can see that bit of show through there. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of our 31 main color stitches here. I'm gonna work my last main color stitch, and that is worked into the contrast color stitch from the previous row. Now I'm gonna drop the black yarn toward the front, because the black yarns up here on the couch next to me. And I'm gonna pick up our contrast color yarn and finish that 31st main color stitch uh, by yarning over with the contrast color. Now we'll work our four contrast color stitches. And then the pattern repeats again. So on our fourth contrast color stitch, because when the pattern repeats, it starts with four contrast color stitches, we don't have to yarn over with the black. We just keep going and work those four contrast color stitches. And now it's time to switch back to main color for 31 stitches. Oops, sometimes you forget to carry your yarn. <laughs> don't forget to bring that along with you. And you know, if you prefer, you always can cut your yarn for each of these yarn sections or work from a, a separate small ball of contrast color yarn if you don't want to carry the yarn. Uh, it does give a cleaner look and you don't get that show through of the carried yarn, but um, the drawback is then you have a lot more ends to weave in. So if you're one of those people that doesn't mind weaving in the ends, uh, you can roll several small balls of Contrast color one and main color, and you can just add a new ball every time you start a new section of color. It's really up to you. For me, I don't love weaving in the ends, and <laughs> I hate it when I wash a blanket and the ends pop back out and I have to weave them back in, so uh, maybe I'm just not that good at it. <laughs> so I prefer to carry the yarn in this case. The original Wind River Blanket in the uh, Crochet Southwest Spirit book, uh, I worked from a separate ball of yarn for each section of color there. And there is a tutorial in the back of the book, a photo tutorial to show you how to do that. 
Um, for a video tutorial of that, you can watch my lightning feather poncho, the crochet along we did. Um, I believe it's part two of that pattern. Um, that shows how to do color work like that, um, working from a separate small ball of yarn uh, for each section of color. So we're coming to the 31st stitch of main color here. Uh, you can see I have my tail that started that last row there. So I'm going to drop my black yarn and finish the 31st stitch with the contrast color yarn and then work the final four stitches in contrast color. And we don't have to carry along our main color yarn for that. Because when we turn and start row 25, we're going to be starting with three stitches in our contrast color yarn. Okay. So row 25 starts with three contrast color stitches. So chain one, and that doesn't count as a stitch. Three contrast color stitches, then 33 main color stitches, and then three contrast color stitches. So we're going to finish our third contrast color stitch by yarning over with the main color. And we do have to carry it over, over that one stitch there. So to work our first main color stitch, we're working over all of these yarns here. And we'll work those 33 main color stitches. So you can see the beginning here. This is kind of what tapestry crochet looks like when you change colors like this. If you're seeing this little bit of um, kind of jagged edge at the kind of edges of the contrast color shape, that's totally normal, totally natural, and not really noticeable in the overall effect of the blanket. So 33 single crochets and then three more contrast color. So I'll show you a few more rows here so that you can see the technique um, that I like to use whenever I'm crocheting over uh, carrying the yarn. You have to kind of pull it over more than one stitch sometimes. Um, and it's the same technique. You just pull it over, make sure you leave enough slack um, to crochet over it and just crochet over it. It's just like a, we're carrying the yarn here. Okay, there's our 33rd main color stitch. I'm going to drop that yarn to the front. Pick up the contrast color yarn to finish the 33rd main color stitch. Now we'll work our three contrast color stitches. And then the pattern repeats again. Three contrast color stitches, 33 main color stitches, three contrast color stitches. Okay, now to finish the third stitch, we yarn over with the main color, pull through, and bring that contrast color yarn over so that we can carry it along for those 33 main color stitches.
Okay, here's our 33, uh, 33rd main color stitch. Drop that yarn to the front, pick up the contrast color, and finish these last three stitches with contrast color yarn. Okay, and that is row 25. Now row 26 starts with 12 contrast color stitches, then 15 main color stitches, and then 12 contrast color stitches. So we're gonna start with the chain one and work the 12 contrast color stitches. One, two, three. Now we're gonna pick up the black and carry it along with us toward the back as we work these next nine stitches here. Sometimes I like to give it a gentle tug to make sure we don't have any slack, but don't pull too hard. Okay, to finish our 12th contrast color stitch, we're gonna pick up the main color here and then work our 15 main color stitches. Oops, forgot to carry my yarn again. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Let's go back and pick it up and make sure you're gently pull the slack before you crochet around it. 15 stitches. Oops, I think that was one too many. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, here's our 15th stitch. And to finish that 15th stitch, drop our black yarn to the front here, pick up the contrast color yarn, and complete that 15th stitch. Now we're gonna work 12 stitches in the contrast color and bring along our black yarn. Okay, that's our 12th contrast color stitch, and now the pattern repeats again. 12 contrast color stitches, 15 main color stitches, 12 contrast color stitches. Now how amazing is this orange? <laughs> I just love it. The citrus twist colorway is great, and um, I should mention uh, I have more of this yarn uh, coming. I ordered from yarnspirations.com, so uh, stay tuned. I have another blanket um, design coming up. Um, let's see, I should have 24 stitches all together here because of the 12 contrast color stitches ending one repeat and the 12 contrast color stitches starting the next repeat. Okay, now we're going to drop our contrast color yarn to the back. Pick the main color back up and work 15 single crochets, carrying that beautiful orange along. Okay, here's my last main color stitch. Drop the main color to the front. Pick the contrast color back up. And 
the last 12 stitches are all in the contrast color, so I don't need to carry the black along. I'll just leave it right there, pick it back up in the next row. Okay, so that's the row of, uh, end of row 26, and we're going to turn our work and start on row 27. And by now, hopefully you're getting the hang of these color changes. And, you know, not seeing too much, too, too much carry through yarn, but knowing that this amount of carry, carry through is normal, and that's part of just the overall kind of woven rug look uh, of this pattern. So uh, row 27 starts with 11 contrast color stitches, then 17 main color stitches, then 11 contrast color stitches. In uh, almost exactly like that, row 28 starts with 10 contrast color stitches, then 19 main color stitches, then 10 contrast color stitches. And we'll continue in this uh, manner all the way towards row 40. And then from row 40 on, the blanket is a mirror image. So rows 41 to 113 um, are just rows 1 to 39 worked in the opposite order. So here we are at row 27. We have 11 contrast color stitches, 17 main color stitches, 11 contrast color stitches. Here's our 11th contrast color stitch. Pick the main color back up and pull it over to where we need it. I'm going to bring the contrast color over here so we can carry it. And this first main color stitch, we have to catch all of those yarns in there as we crochet over them there. So now we'll work our 17 main color stitches. Okay, here's our last main color stitch. We're gonna hold it to the front as we finish that 17th main color stitch by yarning over and pulling through with the contrast color. Now we will work our 11 contrast color stitches. Okay, now our pattern starts over again. 11 contrast color stitches, 17 main color stitches, 11 contrast color stitches. Okay, that's our 11th contrast color stitch. We're gonna drop that contrast color yarn to the back, pick up the main color to finish that stitch, and then work our 17 main color stitches, pulling that contrast color yarn along.
Okay, here's our last main color stitch. Pull the main color to the front. Pick up that contrast color yarn. And then the last 11 stitches are in contrast color yarn. We don't need the black, so we'll leave it there. I love this hot pink. <laughs> I think it's my favorite color of this whole skein. But what a great color combo. Okay, that was row 27, and we're gonna turn it over here and start row 28. <clears throat> and row 28, the repeat is 10 contrast color stitches, 19 main color stitches, 10 contrast color stitches. So we start with a chain one, we'll work our 10 contrast color stitches. Okay, there's our 10th contrast color stitch. We're gonna pick up our main color yarn and carry it over by yarning over and pulling it over and not too tight. We need to leave a little slack enough to get over that stitch there. And as we work our first main color stitch, we're crocheting over that black we pulled over and the pink yarn that we're carrying. Now we'll work our 19 main color stitches. Okay, coming to our last main color stitch, we're gonna drop it to the front here. Pick up our contrast color and finish that main color stitch. And now we'll work our 10 contrast color stitches. And then our pattern repeats again. 10 contrast color stitches, 19 main color stitches, 10 contrast color stitches. Okay, here's our last contrast color stitch. We'll drop that yarn to the back pick up the main color to finish that stitch, and then bring this contrast color along as we work 19 main color stitches. Okay, here's our 19th main color stitch. We'll drop the main color to the front, pick up our contrast color, and work those last 10 stitches, and we don't need to carry the black yarn. So by now you're probably beginning to see the pattern where we have a kind of set up row that creates a shape and then the shape changes by one stitch for the next two rows. And we have a kind of set up row here and then the shape changes just by one stitch for the next two rows. We're gonna turn our work and start row 29. We have a few more color changes in this row. 
um, in the following rows. It gets a little bit more interesting. Okay, to start round 29, we're gonna start in the main color uh, yarn. So we have to pull the main color yarn over to where we need it. And the general pattern for row 29 is seven main color stitches, 10 contrast color stitches, five main color stitches, 10 contrast color stitches, and then seven main color stitches. So we're gonna pull over our main color yarn and work those first seven main color stitches. So this is kind of the longest we've had to carry a yarn over for this pattern yet so far. And it can be tricky to know how tight to pull this yarn when you pull it over. If you pull it over really tight, then it's gonna make your, your fabric kind of buckle. And if it's too loose, then you'll have a loop of yarn just kind of hanging out somewhere. So I like to pull it just so it's about as tight as just lining up flat, holding the yarn, uh, the, the fabric kind of nice and flat. We're gonna chain one. And for these first seven main color stitches, we're gonna be carrying both yarns, both the contrast color yarn and that main color yarn that we pulled over. So after we do the first few stitches here, I do like to give a little just gentle tug on each strand to make sure we don't have any gaps or just kind of helps even up this, this edge here. So we'll keep going till we have seven single crochet stitches in the main color. Okay, now we're gonna drop the main color yarn to the front as usual. Pick up this contrast color yarn and work 10 contrast color stitches. And we're still gonna be carrying two yarns here because we have to carry the black yarn that we pulled over to use and the black yarn that we're carrying along for future use. So make sure you um, have both of those. And I like to grab that last little loop of the yarn that I pulled up just to make a kind of clean transition there. Totally optional. Okay, there's our 10th contrast color stitch. We're gonna drop the contrast color yarn, pick up the main color yarn to finish that 10th contrast color stitch. Then pick the contrast color yarn back up to carry along as we work five main color stitches. Okay, now we're gonna work 10 contrast color stitches. Drop this main color to the front, pick up the contrast color and work 10 stitches and bring the black yarn along. Okay, and now I'll work seven main color stitches, carrying that contrast color yarn. Okay, 
now the pattern repeats again. Seven main color stitches, 10 contrast color stitches, five main color stitches, 10 contrast color stitches, seven main color stitches. So we're gonna keep going with our main color here, seven more stitches. Okay, let me make sure I have the right number here. Okay, there should be 14 main color stitches in a row. I had one too many. So to finish that um, 14th main color stitch, we are going to yarn over with our contrast color and work those 10 contrast color stitches. And to finish that tenth stitch, we will yarn over with our main color, and then we'll work five main color stitches. Oops, forgot to carry my yarn. And don't forget to bring that contrast color yarn along with you. Crochet around it for five stitches. Okay, and to finish our fifth stitch, pull the main color to the front, Pick up the contrast color yarn, finish that stitch, and now work our 10 contrast color stitches. Keep carrying that black along. Okay, and to finish our 10th contrast color stitch, we will yarn over with the main color. And now the last um, seven stitches are main color yarn. And because the next row is gonna start with main color also, we don't have to carry this contrast color yarn along with us. You can drop it right there and work these last seven main color stitches. Okay, and that's row 29. Now we can turn our work and start row 30. Row 30 starts with six main color stitches, then 10 contrast color stitches, then seven main color stitches, then 10 contrast color stitches, then six main color stitches. So we're gonna start with the six main color stitches here. Start with the chain one, Crochet those first six. Okay, we'll pull the main color yarn to the front and yarn over with the contrast color to finish that <clears throat> sixth main color stitch. And now this does look a little bit funny here. <laughs> uh, I think maybe I'm gonna undo this and Instead of holding the main color yarn to the front, this time I'm going to put it to the back. Yarn over with the contrast color to finish that sixth main color stitch. And now we have one contrast color stitch where we're working over the stitch itself, the carried black yarn and the carried contrast color yarn. So we'll work our 10 contrast color stitches. And whenever I have this situation where the yarn is carried and you can kind of see it, I like to go under that as well as the top two loops of the stitch and the carried yarn to kind of make a neater color transition there. Work our 10 contrast color stitches. Okay, now we'll work our seven main color stitches. 
So we'll finish that last contrast color stitch with the main color yarn and work our seven main color stitches. Okay, finish that seventh main color stitch by yarning over with the contrast color. And then we'll work our 10 contrast color stitches. And carry that main color yarn along. Okay, finish that tenth stitch by yarning over with the main color. And now we'll work our six main color stitches. Okay, now our pattern repeats again. Six main color stitches, ten contrast color stitches, seven main color stitches, ten contrast color stitches, and six main color stitches to end the row. Uh, so let's see, two, four. We actually have seven main color stitches in the middle here. Sorry, I think I said six. So we're working our seven main color stitches again. Wait, sorry. Okay, in the middle of row 30 here, we're gonna work our six main color stitches to end the first repeat here. And then our pattern will repeat again. Six main color stitches, 10 contrast color stitches, seven main color stitches, 10 contrast color stitches, and then six main color stitches. So we'll work our last, uh, uh, well, the first six main color stitches to start this repeat. So we should have 12 stitches across the middle here. Let's just double check, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, yes. And we'll finish the, the 12th stitch by yarning over with the contrast color to complete that stitch. Now our 10 contrast color stitches. Here's our 10th contrast color stitch. We'll drop that yarn and finish the stitch with a main color yarn. Uh, yarn. Now carry the contrast color over as we work seven main color stitches. Okay, and we'll yarn over with the contrast color to complete seventh main color stitch there and work 10 more contrast color stitches. And then we'll end the row with six main color stitches and you can drop that contrast color yarn um, and not carry it over because we're going to start the next row with main color yarn as well. Last six stitches in the main color. That brings us to the end of row 30, so we'll turn our work and start row 31. The pattern for 31 is five main color stitches, ten contrast color stitches, nine main color stitches, ten contrast color stitches, five main color stitches. So we have five main color stitches to start here. And on our fifth one, we'll pull the yarn to the front and yarn over with contrast color yarn, carrying it over that one stitch where we need it. So our first contrast color 
stitch, we'll go around all of those and we'll work 10 stitches here. On the tenth stitch, we will yarn over with the main color, and then we'll work our nine main color stitches carrying the contrast color yarn. Okay, and to finish that ninth stitch, pull the main color yarn to the front, yarn over with the contrast color yarn, and we'll work 10 contrast color stitches. Here's our 10th contrast color stitch yarn over with the main color to finish that and then work our five main color stitches and then our pattern repeats again five main color stitches ten contrast color stitches uh, nine main color stitches ten contrast color stitches five main color stitches We're working that fifth one, pull the yarn to the front, yarn over with a contrast color, and then work those 10 contrast color stitches. Okay, here's our 10th contrast color stitch, so we're going to yarn over with the main color to finish that. And then work our 9 main color stitches, carrying that contrast color yarn. Here's our ninth main color stitch. We're going to pull that main color yarn to the front, pick up the contrast color to finish that stitch, and then work the next 10 stitches in contrast color. Here's our 10th contrast color stitch. We're going to drop the contrast color and leave it dropped. And we'll work our last five stitches in the main color yarn. Okay, that is the end of row 31 there. Now we'll turn our work and start row 32. The pattern for row 32 is four stitches contrast color yarn, seven main color, 17 contrast color, seven main color, four contrast color yarn. So we have to carry the contrast color yarn over. I'm gonna kinda pull the, the main color yarn to the uh, back here, I guess. Pull the contrast color yarn over and yarn, uh, just bring it over here with a slip stitch and check to make sure that you've got the right amount of slack here. We're going to chain one and work those first four stitches in the contrast color yarn. So we're carrying both the black yarn and that contrast color yarn we pulled over here. And that fourth stitch, we'll drop the contrast color yarn, pick up the main color yarn to 
finish that fourth contrast color yarn stitch. Now we'll work seven stitches in the main color yarn. And just for this first one, we have to go around two carried yarns. And then after that, we just work around the one carried yarn as usual. Okay, here is our seventh main color stitch. So we're gonna drop the main color yarn. I did get a bit of a tangle that one time I brought the, <laughs> the uh, main color yarn to the back instead of the front. But if that happens, you just take a second and, and unwind it. So here we've got our four contrast color stitches, two, four, six, here's our seventh main color stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, finish that stitch with the contrast color yarn. Now we're gonna work 17 stitches in the contrast color yarn and bring that main color yarn along. Okay, here's our 17th contrast color stitch. We're gonna drop the contrast color, pick the main color back up, and finish that last stitch. Now we're gonna work seven main color stitches. Here's our seventh main color stitch. We're gonna pull the main color to the front, pick up that contrast color yarn, and work our last four stitches in contrast color. Last four stitches of that repeat. So now the repeat starts again. Four contrast color, seven main color, 17 contrast color, seven main color, four contrast color. So we're starting with the four contrast color stitches. Okay, then we'll switch to the main color to finish that fourth stitch and work our next seven stitches in the main color. Okay, there's our seventh main color stitch. We'll pull that to the front and work 17 contrast color stitches. And here's our 17th contrast color stitch. We'll pick our main color back up, work seven main color stitches. And then we'll finish the row with four contrast color stitches. And we don't need to bring the the uh, main color yarn long. And that is the end of row 32. I'll turn our work and start row 33. Okay, for row 33, our repeat is three contrast color stitches, seven main color stitches, 19 contrast color, seven main color, three contrast color. We start with three contrast color stitches. Then we drop our contrast color, pick up the main color here. So for this first main color stitch, we're working around the carried yarn 
both carried yarns here. And we'll work those seven main color stitches. Now we'll work the 19 contrast color stitches. Okay, there's our 19th contrast color stitch. I'm gonna switch back to the main color and work seven stitches. And then to end the repeat, we will work three contrast color stitches. And now our second repeat will begin. Three contrast color stitches. Then we have seven main color stitches. And then we have 19 contrast color stitches. Then seven main color stitches. Carry that contrast color over. And we will end the row with three contrast color stitches and we do not need to carry the yarn. Okay, that's the end of row 33. We can turn our work and start row 34. For row 34, our pattern starts with two contrast color stitches and seven main color. 21 contrast color, seven main color, two contrast color. So we'll work those first two contrast color stitches. Then we will pick up our main color. To finish that second contrast color stitch. Sometimes you gotta pull them both tight here. And then we'll work our seven main color stitches. Now I'll work 21 main color stitches.
And here's our 21st contrast color stitch. We'll pick up the main color again and work seven stitches. Okay, and then we'll finish our repeat with two contrast color stitches. Now we start the second repeat, two contrast color stitches, then seven main color stitches. Then we will work 21 contrast color stitches. Carrying that main color over. And that was our 21st stitch. Then we'll switch back over to main color here. Work seven stitches. And then we'll work our last two stitches in the contrast color. No need to carry the black yarn. Okay, and that is row 34, and we can turn our work and start row 35. Okay, taking a step back, you can see our progress after 34 rows here. For 30, row 35, the pattern is eight contrast color stitches, 10 main color stitches, three contrast color stitches, 10 main color stitches, and then eight contrast color stitches. Repeat that twice. The pattern for row 36 is seven contrast color stitches, 10 main color stitches, five contrast color stitches, 10 main color stitches, and seven contrast color stitches. The pattern for row 37 is six contrast color stitches, 10 main color, seven contrast color, 10 main color, six contrast color, Repeat that twice. Row 38 has four main color stitches, 11 contrast color, nine main color, 11 contrast color, four main color stitches. Work that twice. Row 39 has three main color stitches, 11 contrast color, 11 main color, 11 contrast color, and three main color stitches. Work that twice. And then the last unique row is row 40, where you'll work two main color stitches, 11 contrast color stitches, 13 main color stitches, 11 contrast color stitches, and then two main color stitches. And row 40 is kind of the turning point, um, where after that you'll work um, kind of in the mirror image. So row 41 is the same as row 39, row 42 is the same as row 38, Row 43 is the same as row 37. Row 44 is as row 36. Row 45 work as row 35. Row 46 is the same as row 34. Row 47 is the same as row 33. Row 48 is the same as row 32. Row 49 is the same as row 31. Row 50 is the same as row 30. Row 51 is the same as row 29. 
Row 52 is the same as row 28. Row 53 is the same as row 27. Row 54 is the same as row 26. Row 55 is the same as row 25. Row 56 is the same as row 24. Then we'll repeat that whole color work section again. Um, so that rows 57 to 90 are worked the same as row 23 to 56. So you don't have to repeat that row. If you want to kind of stop it there, you could, You don't have to do that extra repeat to make the longer length, but um, I like to work rows 23 to 56 again there. Then row 91, you'll work um, the same as row 23. Um, row 90, rows 92 and 93, that's just all single crochet with the main color. Row 94 is all single crochet with contrast color. Rows 95 to 96 um, are all single crochet with the main color again. Row 97 is uh, all single crochet in the contrast color. Rows 98 and 99 are all single crochet with the main color. Row 100 is the last row of contrast color. And then those last 13 rows, rows 101 to 113, are all um, main color single crochet. Then after that, you'd fasten off and weave in all the ends. And um, you can block it if you like. And I uh, hope you love your blanket. Thank you for joining me.